Hello class! Today we are talking about doing some tallying. We are going to toss some coins and we are going to look for heads and tails. When we play games, we often tally to show the points. So I have a couple quarters here. I have an American quarter and a Canadian quarter. I know a lot of you who watch the videos are from the United States, so I have an American quarter for you. And guess what though? I don't live in the United States. I live in Canada. And this is what our quarters look like. And I thought I'd bring some pennies too because you can use any coin. I have a Canadian coin here that has Queen Elizabeth on one side and a maple leaf on the other. And the American coin which has Abraham Lincoln and a shield on the other side. All right, I'm gonna use some quarters and I am gonna do heads or tails. Are you ready for it? We will see, oh, that is a head, so I am gonna tally it, heads. And now I'll do the Canadian coin, oops. And we'll go, is it heads or tails? Oh, it's heads again. And then I'll do the American one. <gasps> heads, wow, we have three heads in a row. And then I'll try the American one, are we ready? Oh. Oh, that is the Canadian one. We now have one, two, three, four heads. That's strange that I haven't gotten any tails, isn't it? You can try this at home. Oh, I have heads again. One, two, three, four, five. When we are tallying, our fifth one goes straight across so that we can see that we have a group. All right, let's try it. There is going to be something wrong. Oh, it is heads again. How is that possible? We have six heads and how many tails? Mm, none at all. That is very strange. Heads again. Hmm. My coins seem... Oh, heads again. Let's see. I wonder if they always go to heads. How very strange. If I were to flip them up in the air, maybe we would have a better chance of hitting a tails. <gasps> Finally, our first tails. This is a Canadian coin, and it has a caribou on the tail side. All right, let's try the American one, see if we can get a tails. Yes! There we go, the eagle. Tails. How strange that we had so many heads in a row. Heads again, Queen Elizabeth. So we have 10 heads. Five plus five is 10. We tally because when we're keeping score for something, we can easily see the groups of five, five, 10, and it makes counting a lot easier. I think that you should have some fun today playing this game with a friend and see if you can get more heads or tails. And I would like for you to tally to keep score. What do you think is gonna be? Oh, tails again, four. Oh class, I hope that you have a lot of fun tallying your heads and your tails. Hmm, we have one, two, three, four. How many more tails would we need? Oops, that wasn't really. A spin. Oops. We would need one more tails. I'm going to keep going until we get one more tails. Oh, no, that's ahead. We're going to keep going, see if we can get another tails. <gasps> Yay! One, two, three, four, and one more for five. When we have our fifth one, we go straight across, or I guess we could go diagonally. But this shows that we have a group of five. One, two, three, four, five. So our score is five, 10, 11 to five. 11 to five. This sounds like, this looks like it would be a fun game for you to play. I hope that you have a wonderful time class practicing tallying as you show heads and tails on your coins. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.